All right, I'm heading into UMC Medical Care Trauma Unit. I just spoke to a lady who had known some victims and trying to convince the hoaxer community that this is real. Trauma Unit, UMC. It's really sad hearing a lot of terrible stories and then basically being trashed by the entire internet. And here is the public entrance, trauma unit. terrible that I even have to do this, but there's hundreds of thousands of people that don't believe this really happened, even though the entire city of Vegas is mourning, and these attacks aren't going to stop them unless we can convince people that they're falling into this trap, believing this didn't happen. Well, I heard there was a place to... Yeah, I heard there was a place to fill out like cards and whatnot for the victims of the like, tragedy. Cards? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I was just I, the right know that, I know there was cards filled out near the trauma area, but that's oh, okay. not the last time I seen the cards. Uh, we were doing the donations and that had stopped. Oh, okay. Is there anything that I could do to just at least pay my condolences or help? Or I know they're doing like tonight. They had a. I know they had something going on tonight with the family. You know, I hate talking about it, but yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's areas in town where you know you could even look on your phone. Mm -hmm. But right now, like for the hospital wise, I have no idea where to no. do that. Okay. But I appreciate. It. Yeah. Well, hey, how's it going? Um, I heard that there's a place that you could fill out cards for some of the victims to give condolences. Oh. Do you know? It may be up by the cafeteria. I'm not sure. Cap yeah, up that way. Yeah, so if you go to the yes, if you go to the statue and then take a left, there's an info desk and that's also where the cafeteria is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find out um, because I want to. This might sound strange, but there's hundreds of thousands of people on the internet that are somehow convinced that nobody actually died. I mean, literally hundreds of thousands of people that there was a that this was hoaxed by the government, and I'm trying to provide, you know, without disrespecting anybody, I'm trying to provide a little bit of evidence to kind of stop these YouTube channels from perpetuating that. So, I, you know, I know that sounds strange, but literally, there's hundreds of thousands of people. I don't think it's right. There's people on the internet that believe all kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, um. All right. Yeah. I think I think that'll probably be your best bet is up there. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. By the way, I'm not, just in case you're wondering, I'm not one of them. I, I know per people personally. It's just, that's why yeah. I'm, yeah. All right, you guys have a good one. So sad that I even have to do this. I know people personally, and you guys just tell me I'm a shill. I'm a government shill. By the way, the reason the hospital is empty is because it's midnight. It's a big place. Do you mind if I ask you a uh, couple of questions? Since you work here, um, I was trying to find um, a place where you can write to give condolences to the. I heard from a, I, I'm a rideshare driver, and I talked to a lady that um, had new victims in the attack, and she told me that there's a place where you can write gift card or cards to write your condolences to the victims. I don't know, like how can you write? Like the area is in there. Yeah. In the cafeteria, uh -huh. but right now I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So probably you can it's ask too late. them in there. Usually they have like group in there, mm -hmm. like uh, 
like uh, but in the morning though usually in the morning oh okay so mm -hmm. it'd be better to come back in the morning mm -hmm. okay you know the reason I'm doing this I know it sounds odd but um, I know for people personally you know that were affected but there are hundreds of thousands of people on the internet that think that this was all a hoax that nobody died but the government mm -hmm. tried to fake this so I'm trying to provide a little bit of you know proof being here in the city you know everybody else from all over the world they don't know they're just going off of what they see on the internet I'm trying to provide you know something to show that this actually happened you know and and that real people were hurt so that these people on the internet stop you know I mean there's some people with channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers that are telling their subscribers that you know we're spreading that theory that there was nobody killed and that I'm just trying to put a stop to that, you know what I mean? Because that's awful, mm -hmm. you know? And um, so, I mean, I, were you uh, involved with the, I mean, were you here when that yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. And you can verify for me that there was indeed people. You were here to everybody. I asked everybody. I was here seven times. You've been here like 30 minutes. Seven times I was here. I got a party. Where are you? This is not West Charleston. No, this is not West Charleston. Left Charleston. Is that in there? No, no, no. 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 Have a good one. That's okay, thank you. You want to hang around, or if you see an official around the hospital, mm -hmm. I'm an officer with the police department, so I don't, I don't know exactly how all of this works. Where all of it is, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I'm... But there are people that do come here and check in from time to time. Oh, okay. I guess I'll try again in the morning. I'm, I have a kind of a strange reason why, because. Um, I know people personally affected. I mean, I've thought, I'm a rideshare driver, so I know a lot of people that have told me their stories and stuff. But the sure. problem is, is that on the internet, there's literally dozens of channels on on like YouTube with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and the idea is is that this never even took place to begin with. That this was a shooting hoax. That the government set this up to be a hoax. That nobody died actually, and they tried to make it look real when it wasn't. And I'm trying to provide a little bit of evidence to kind of put a stop to that because it's, mm. you know, for that many people in the world to think something like that, sure. it can't be good, you know? And so I'm trying to... Um, yeah. There are two people out here, if you could go out here to the right, mm -hmm. there are two people that are witnesses because their families were affected. They okay. have um, um, individuals that are here right now being attended to because they were actually victims. Okay. So, yeah, it might not be a bad place to so start. So it's just around here? Yeah, it's right here, here where the, the little walkway here is here. Go down to the right. Two okay. people that are sitting down in the, I don't know, smoking area or whatever. Okay. And um, they've been adversely affected by all of this. Okay, yeah. I, and their I, family I, members are still here um, in critical condition or ICU or, or what have you. Okay. And yeah. I was actually one of the responders, and it was real. I, I, I know it was. I've talked to enough people, you know, it's just, it's just, yeah. it's crazy to me. There's I can't, so many. Yeah, I can't fathom that somebody would believe that it didn't happen. Right. And not only that, but I'm literally telling you, it's hundreds of thousands. It's not even just a small amount. There's just, it's way that's, out of yeah, control. That's way out of control. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, that was a police officer, obviously a government paid troll. <laughs> You don't mind. I was actually gonna. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> what you understand when you overheard you talking in the hallway about the YouTube videos and stuff? Or... Oh yeah. No. Yeah. It's just it's crazy. Man. Mm -hmm. But what I realized is that I spent way too much time invested in that the first day, and for what? That yeah. yeah. Well, I agree with you, but.
you. It's an answer yeah. questions people yeah. want to know about. Yeah, and I mean, I was just, my thing is, is that for those kinds of people to be spreading it, I know some of them are genuine. They really believe it. Yeah. And I'm trying to put a stop to that. Because like, to me, you know, if these people are spreading that, who are they going to rack? They're doing yeah. it to, to cause attention to themselves and, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you know gain off of it somehow, yeah. whether through they're getting uh, yeah. you know money from YouTube for their advertisement or whatnot. So, yeah. so many videos are getting watched. I mean, I was watching one today. Sixteen things that were unanswered questions about the tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watched that today on YouTube, and I was just like, okay, some of them were valid points. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it was kind of like, yeah, I okay, I understand how they're. There's, I mean, from the very beginning, I was skeptical just because we didn't hear any, we didn't see any YouTube videos first. We just saw the, the news reports and the eyewitness reports. Everybody said there's multiple fucking shooters. Everybody. Not one fucking person didn't say there's multiple shooters. Yeah. So I was questionable from the very beginning. But, you know, after what they found, I mean, come on, how the hell can, I mean, obviously there's going to be tons of shells from whatever yeah. other weapon. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they found the shells. You know, they didn't yeah. find them on the fourth floor, the tenth floor. The, you know, they found them on the third and second floor where the yeah. was at. Yeah. And that's also where saying, it's all like, the cameras. Madeley Bay is like, the casino is a mirror. The whole <laughs> And then there was like the YouTube video of the, the flashing. The, the flashing and they're like taking a cane from across the street. Yeah. So that's why they're in like a, a bowl, like a fish bowl, right. where they're just getting hit from both sides. That's debatable. Mm. No point is, and the person that in the end had the weapons, had the camera, had the yeah. hammer to bust out the windows, yeah. who himself in the midst of getting caught, was the one in the There's been nobody else that they could have, there's no any well, the evidence there's anybody else. trying to, to come up with is a reason why people think there's alternate shooters. Mm -hmm. the, the, the most obvious reason is you have these huge buildings, they're making these basically, you know, acoustics with echoes. And exactly. You know, and bouncing off different exactly. fucking hotels and you're gonna sound like it's coming from different exactly. ways. You're not gonna know where it's coming from. Exactly. Yeah. The well, one no. thing that I just don't understand is on all the videos, you, nobody is showing any video of any muzzle flashes coming from the 32nd floor. The only thing that could possibly explain that is he was preceded back and not necessarily with the weapon out of the friggin' window. True, yeah. but also they said he had two corner windows. Yeah. He had the suites. He had two corner windows. Yeah. So look at how Vandalay Bay is is set up. He's in a corner window. The fuck is he gonna see that anyway? Especially if his rifle was inside and not outside. So that right there is what I don't like. The main thing I don't like, which made it way worse, this is the biggest thing that both of you guys need to realize is just stupid shit. The entertainment people. They cut all the lights off. They turn the fucking lights all back on, all back on. and now the heat can see everybody now. Right. Yeah, that I right think there I saw is the video. biggest shit that I don't like. Which Why one? would you do that? Keep it dark. Which one? I and saw then, a video of uh, I think it was an EMT or somebody going back to the scene, yeah. and uh, huh? And not just the EMTs, but regular good Samaritans, regular people that have no military or medical experience. They were going back to the going back into the fucking war battles. That's when they turned the lights off, right? Was when after the after they were there when trying the, to clean the, up. It shows when when the when the guy was performing. I forgot his name. He was performing and he heard the gunshots. He heard it for a minute, then he then he ran off the stage. Right. Then it all went dark. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden it just brought all the fuck. Everybody could see everybody. So he yeah. had like a like fucking everybody's down there. He could see every single person. Yeah. And it was just like the security gates. Yeah. Because remember it's a paid concert. You can't just get in there for free. Right. So they need to knock the down. What the fuck are you doing? Because we don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. Take these gates down. That's what pissed me off the most. Let the gates down. Why the fuck would you light up the whole area? Yeah. Let me be incognito. Excuse me. Be high on this table right here. Why are you gonna light the shit up so everybody can see? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's one thing that made me the most. So the problem was that they turned it on so that the guy could see better. Like I mean, no, not no, they, so the guy no, could the, see the, better. The, but the concert people just turned them on. <laughs> the concert people turned the lights back on for whatever reason they they did it for. Yeah. Not saying they were involved. Right. I'm saying they just turned the lights back on. Right. Oh, and, so and, the, and the turned, that was the problem was that they gave the shooter more visibility? Or, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Because when you turn the lights back on, because keep in mind when the lights were off, you can't see nobody. Yeah. All you can do is shoot blindly. Because mm -hmm. keep in mind, he had they had three scopes. Mm -hmm. They weren't sniper scopes, but he had three scopes in the, on one of those rifles of the 25, 303 rifles he had. Mm -hmm. He had three scopes. 
So, fuck a scope if I was gonna shoot blindly when the lights are bright, when the lights are on on everybody. Yeah. Like, all the lights are on. Like, they turn the floodlights on everything. Like, the, I guess, I guess, like, the cops is over, turn the lights on so everybody can go to their cars or whatever because there's shooting going on, whatever, let's go home. But what it did is it made them more of a sitting duck. Yeah. Because they didn't know where it was coming from. Mm. I mean, I've seen this on YouTube about just a cab driver's like, she rolled up at Mandalay Bay, one of the female cabs that rolled to Mandalay Bay. And she told this passenger, this passenger was like, do not go to Mandalay Bay. She's actually in the, in the taxi drag, taxi like, line. Yeah, so I think I saw that video. Bay, there's shooting going on in Mandalay Bay. She's actually right there, yeah. right above the shooting. Yeah. And we were underneath the, underneath the shooting. And this shit's happening right above her. She's like, there are shots are coming from this hotel. I can't hear it. Yeah. I mean, the shit is crazy. I'm watching just today. Because yeah. my, um, my friend was showing me, he's like, you know, certain things with this guy, multiple shooters. And I'm like, I don't, I don't believe that mm -hmm. completely. But it's a possibility. It's a possibility. But when you have so much evidence on one person, yeah. you know, like, yeah. Yeah, so that was one person. You can believe there's multiple shooters, but when you have so much evidence on one person, it's yeah. kind of like, uh, okay. Now, I don't know. But for them to light up the fucking stage like that, motive, they should have never turned the lights back on. They should never turn the lights back on. I don't think they on. should worry too much about the motives more than who he's involved with. Who cares about why he did it? And why did ISIS right. take responsibility for it immediately? Yeah, They're going to take ISIS, is going to take responsibility for, for everything. Everything, everything, everything. exactly. Yeah. That's all I that's going to do is, is, is continue. And getting, they're gonna constantly do that. Getting mm -hmm. people more involved in their cause. In their cause. Exactly. I agree with you 100%. And promoting mm -hmm. jihad or whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, it's really freaking, it's, it's, it's really similar to all these different shootings with multiple, with multiple different uh, shooters going into events like that and yeah. taking out concert buildings. Yeah. It seems to keep happening. And they all yeah. have semi auto weapons. Yeah. Yep. It seems to keep happening. Yeah, I, honestly, my personal view is that there is some sort of an agenda behind all of these because this this isn't a coincidence with all these happening. You know, something's going on. Right? Well, why it's would just... you go to like four different cities and then choose just Vegas? Right. But he went to different cities. Like he had it planned to go to different cities, but it just well, I guess it wasn't right. But I mean, how are you gonna go gamble, drink, kick it, then go up, put a camera by your door, then go in the room and say, you know, fuck, this is my place. I'm gonna do it now. And, yeah. And one thing that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One yeah. thing that really gets me too, though, is, is, is the fact that he's a 64-year-old man who's already in retirement. Like, how close he And rich. Good. Rich. How do you off. get 560 or some odd people, though, too? I mean, that's, that's just insane. crazy. You know? You want out of 20, 22,000? And why did he bring up 20, like, 20 guns, right? He got a 20 gun. I think it was 20. Like, but 10 rifles. 25 rifles. 25 and, and rifles. The amount of ammo Three that he had. I mean, for these had really and bombs. Heavy, heavy, heavy packages. Yeah. Uh, heavy cases. No, you know how you got them up there? The bellman. But see, the thing is, we're not we're not <laughs> being shown is is why doesn't why doesn't the fucking media put an end to all this bullshit and show the fucking uh, the footage from the hotel? There's video of them everywhere mm -hmm. of these big cases. Well, got it. Because show us that. Think yeah. about show it. Show us that. Put that. You can't take yeah. suitcases like that. that well, right they know on. that there's so many people out there it. with all these theories and all this. It's like they could it. put an you end to it. You can't have. You can't put that many rifles in the suitcases. It's gonna look suspicious. Hmm? So wh why would you not put them in a duffel bag? Have the bellman come get your shit. Yeah. The the, the bellman's gonna think maybe you're a military veteran. You like to travel with your fucking um, duffel bag. Right. You had duffel bags full of shit. And the bellman took his shit up to the fucking room. That's why he wasn't, nobody, nobody was curious. Maybe the, maybe the bellman was thinking to himself, this is kind of bizarre, but whatever, he took me good, whatever, fuck it, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I dropped it off, I'm good. Yeah. And then he both look in your bags. So he dropped them off in the fucking room. This motherfucker had the nerve, and that's what security is wrong for. How does he have a camera outside of the room to see security and police coming? So that's the curious part of Manly Bay. Because yeah. how the fuck you put a camera up by your door and yeah. people approaching your door to where you have a chance to kill yourself, or find a way to escape when you have a camera at the door. Yeah. That's security. There's supposed to be cameras in every fucking elevator, mm. hallways. Only well, you can't put a camera in the fucking bathroom or our room. Yeah, these, and it's Las Vegas. Really, I mean, this, really, is, this really is high good. security. We always have security everywhere. You can't even yeah. see no. There's literally anything. spy cameras nowadays where they could just literally walk by, stick them up on the light. True. And oh, have yeah. you're true. You're, you're right about that. You're right about no that. Fucking, they're not big. They're very tiny. You're right. Very yeah. easy. You're right. Yeah. But You're why right. aren't we seeing any surveillance footage from that? Put an end to this bullshit. 
Right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. But I feel like security, you know, they, they may have dropped the ball on that aspect. Maybe they just didn't see him do it. And, but I feel like the bellman brought that shit up. Yeah. And he didn't even know it. And it wasn't his fault. And I blame him. Right. He, he just brought it up. He got a good tip. He's a wealthy man. He might get a hundred bucks. But, you know, thank you. Mm-hmm. But the whole situation is just like it's the it's just yeah. fucking absolutely crazy. You guys have been spending a little bit of time with uh, my girl. Real hey, quick. thanks for talking yeah. to me. No worries. Hey, you know just uh, real quick. Once again, Andrew. All right, my love. And just just real quick, me, so did you guys have uh, any any victims in in tragedy? My I'm so sorry, me. sir. My husband has cancer. He's been here twice. <laughs> right, yeah. And do you mind if I if I uh, share this conversation with a content creator that I trust that um, is perpetuating this hoax thing because I, I i'd like them to stop honestly yeah, you know all right man hey hey take Thank it you. easy no you worries too. good to see you all right, sure you we'll see you. i'll be here for a while all, all right, right Andrew. i'll go back in like an hour or so <laughs> <laughs> all right all have right. a good one it was nice a talking really to you thank cool you guy. no really you know what like i said you know you're doing a really good thing right now yeah I mean, you know just, what I'm saying? I've been studying. The, I mean, I, I'm kind of a bit of a conspiracy theorist myself. I've been looking yeah. at all these shootings and everything. It's like I didn't know what to believe on, the, on all the other ones until you know this happened in my city. I'm a rideshare driver. I'm talking to people. I know it's real. And then to see all the people that that are online that I think you know are, have good intentions, they, they're just misled. You know, yeah. there's a, so much disinformation. It's easy to get yeah. you know, fooled. It's like. I like want to try said, and put the them one, to stop. Cause... The one thing that made it way worse for me, mm-hmm. the one thing that I think made the whole entire shooting way worse, was as soon as the performer ran off the stage, it went dark. Yeah. Right? Then as soon as he left the stage and he was safe, why the fuck we turn all the lights back on? Right. These people are wide open now. The and shooter happened... can see everybody now. And it I happened mean, for how long? Like like 70 minutes or something crazy Yeah, like that, it, right? it actually shows, if you go on YouTube, it shows the timeline yeah. of three different points of view so on the same screen. And they didn't of, rip down those camera. gates in all that time? Oh, no. Wow. No. So my whole thing is, why would you light up the area where somebody's shooting? So yeah. it's like, if all of us right here, sitting right here, we're all going to get shot. We're, we're, there's shooting happening. And it's all dark all of a sudden, like it's dark right now. Why would we turn on the lights on so they can find us? Right. Like, it, it is that part I didn't, didn't make no sense. Yeah. Why would the concert uh, um, organizers light up the, uh, the scene? Why would they light right. up the scene like that? It gave him more places to shoot. You know, it gave him yeah. more, he could see everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> and they didn't know where, which way to run. They're running towards the Manly Bay, they're running away from the Manly Bay, they're running this way, but they're locked in because the gates are blocking is the concert you gotta pay for this concert yeah. so you can't get out very easily yeah and there are some people that were pulling the fence back to get people out mm-hmm. there's multiple trucks that are loaded people in the back of their trucks trying to get them and and his sister mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that was thrown in the back of a truck or a cab mm-hmm. that was transported here wow. you know what I'm saying? Okay? did she did she survive she, she still no, she, no, she got she, shot from the right side of her head top of her head Behind her eyeball, all the way down out of her neck. She was just got out of um, intensive care ICU yesterday, and now she's um, stable, but still kind of critical. But she's in adult um, emergency. Wow. But he told me last night. I was talking to him last night, and he was just like, just devastated. Yeah. I mean, he's been here rocking it out with his sister this whole time, and it's just sad. Yeah. It's absolutely sad. It's sad. I mean, I mean, I mean, and the, and the sad thing about the whole situation is, okay, they always talk about why are always mass shootings happen with a lot of white people. Mm. I'm, I'm not being, I'm not a racist. No, no, I, no, I, no, I, I was know. raised in Mira Mesa, San Diego. I, I was yeah. raised with white people. I love white people. <laughs> it's not the point. <laughs> the point I'm making too, but... is, <laughs> it was a country yeah. concert. Yeah. There was very rarely any black people there. Right. Not, not to say like I mean I love Garth Brooks my favorite. <laughs> I'm not playing. I I'm not Garth a big Brooks. country fan, but I, I, I hear actually you. have his um um VHS. So I can't play and I'm no VHS player no more. <laughs> but I actually have his concert. Yeah. I love Garth Brooks. Stormy Road, the whole night. Okay, right. I'm not playing. I actually love Garth Brooks. But if you notice, there's reporters, people like that. We're like, oh, it's Republican, gun-toting people, because they're, they're white in their country. 
that's why they got this happened to them. Yeah. And there was some other thing about the shooter getting having some incident with the one of the band people, or one of the people that were, were performing. I mean, at that time, mm -hmm. but that was there at the performance. So it's kind of like you're mad about the motherfucker that pissed you off. Why would you come shoot all these people in this place or just come and enjoy this music? Right. Music is supposed to be love and happiness and all that. Why would you come because you're mad? This motherfucker. That's what his supposed to, motive was supposed to be. Right. These are just stipulations or, yeah. you know, um, ideas. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, it is kind of a common occurrence. Like, black people kill about people in um, drugs and in, in, in fucking uh, ghetto drug drug ghetto uh i'm trying to say gangs right gang wars right. but then you see all these white people getting killed in masses right all the time and i wonder what that is yeah it blows my mind what that is yeah and it's it wasn't a black person that killed white people it was a white person killed white people yeah and almost every time it's it's the same thing and i'm just wondering what is going on yeah and right now the biggest conversation should be korea i mean Yes, we're dealing with something in our city right now that's major, yeah. but we also have Trump who's taunting Korea, yeah. and we just found out that he has a fucking nuke that can land between Chicago and Detroit yeah. from Korea. Yeah. We should be worrying about that shit, yeah. because if he decides, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to blow you asses up, it ain't going to touch us, it ain't going to fuck us, so I hate you from way the fuck over there. Yeah. We're going to... I mean, and one thing that it. kills me about Trump's tweet, I mean, he tweeted out on September 23rd that uh, North, or Kim Jong-un's days are numbered and, you know, this and that. And it makes me think, well, how is he supposed to take that? What, what if we have a training drill with air, military aircraft heading towards his area? It's just a training drill, but, you know, he thinks our days, his days are numbered. Does that mean he's just going to fire off some nukes? Oh, my God. You know, God. I mean, this guy is, this guy is off the... the really? Off the hook, really. really? You know? Really. So, I don't know. And this it guy is, is a, um, a live wire. Donald Trump's live wire, and so is he. The whole point is, is like, <clears throat> all these mass shootings, or not even mass shootings, more police on shootings, and all this stuff that's mm. going on. It's just too much. It is. It is. It's, I mean, there's cops killing. I mean, I'm, I'm watching them shoot black people. I'm watching them shoot white people. I'm watching them. Because they don't, they don't really don't really show. I mean, white people are killing, too. Right. Because I'm not, I don't, they want to focus more on the black people. Black people flip the fuck out and loot the whole area. Yeah. All because a black person was shot, but they do see white people, too. Yeah. I was watching I think that's all video. divide and conquer. Just turn white people against black people and black people against white people. Because, you know, it black on black crime is high. White on white crime is it's high. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's all, it's it's just, it's all bad, you know? It's it really is. sad. It's sad that it, that the media is turning everybody against each other. You know. I, I seen I seen a YouTube video <clears throat> yesterday mm. about the white guy, white guy, little young white kid got out the car, he has wallet in his hand. Mm. He's supposed to stay in the car until the cop comes to your car and tells you what to do. But he jumped out. He has wallet, black wallet in his hand. He did this, and he had it like right here. Mm. Got shot right in the dick. And he's laying there bleeding. He's like, put your hands up. He's one hand up. And he's like, hold on him. So he's like shaking and shit. He's the worst shit I've seen in my life. Yeah, I've seen. And the white, and the white cop, like, he's flipping out. He's like stressed the fuck out. Yeah. Yes. I've seen a lot of those. Because I, you on my did. Facebook, <laughs> on my Facebook, I I'm, I was subscribed to a cop block and then police the police. They have shoot, I mean, they have crazy stuff like that all the time where the police just pop, pop, you know, for almost no reason you know i've been thinking about this because honestly i used to be under the mindset that a lot of these past attacks were possibly hoax like sandy hook i looked at every single little piece of evidence i think they set that town up and i'll be honest with you i'll be honest with you i think the government is at war with the people of america i think they're at war and they're using propaganda they're using the, the american government oh yeah if not the united nations and everybody else you know Oh, don't get me started. And I, I'm uh, on it when it comes to Fahrenheit. When it comes to Fahrenheit 9-11. And the fact that those planes hit and it fell down demolition style. Oh, yeah. Makes no fucking sense to me. Nope. How people were called off of work the day of the attacks yep. and didn't come to work that day. That right there is shady. Yep. And the one thing that only looked kind of kind of realistic was... When you see Bush in the room with the kids reading the book, 
-hmm. He smiled the entire time. Once he heard the second plane hit, then all of a sudden it was like blank. Hey, you want to know interest, something interesting about that schoolroom? They were playing, those children, at the time that that attack happened, those children were reciting words. It was like a reading lesson. Mm -hmm. And they were having them recite these words. Plane, steel, hit, and um, there's a couple other words. But it was all about hitting the towers. And there's video of it. You can look really? it up. Yeah. They were saying, oh, plane, or no, uh, steel, plane, must hit. Is what they were saying. Steel, plane, must hit were the words that they were chose to read. Come on now. You know what I mean? Come on. Eh? There's so much with all of these so events. So I got a wild theory about this. This sh this shooting. Well, all the shootings. Yeah. I, I want to run it by you. I know for a fact Sandy Hook was set a setup. I think they faked the whole thing. I don't think any kids died in that. I'm sorry to say it, but I truly believe that. Because I've looked at every piece of evidence. It just doesn't add up. None of it. But that said, ever since then, ever since all of those attacks that have happened ever since then, there have been these people interviewed that just, you look at them, there's no emotion on their face. They're just, they're, it's like they, they, they weren't even there. Yeah. You know, and I know that something like that would happen. Anybody's going to be crying. Everybody's yeah. going to be, I think what the, I think that the government is doing this on purpose. And I think what they're trying to do is convince people that are looking deep into this stuff, convince them that it didn't happen at all. Just like Sandy Hook, that, that this is all a hoax. And what that's doing is, I mean, I've been on the internet trying to say, hey, I know people in this. And you know what I'm getting from, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of people that think that this was a hoax. They're calling me a shill, a government liar. They should, they're telling me I should kill myself. All because I'm telling the truth. I think what the government's doing is they're intentionally setting these shootings up so that it's a real shooting. And then they're trying to make it look fake to everybody on the internet so that they get all these people radicalized, whatever. And then they say, oh, these people are, are crazy, and they, we need to we need to do something about these people population speaking out. Control. Population control, shut down the First Amendment. These people, you know, yeah, we all believe in First Amendment free speech, but look at these people. They're saying all these outrageous things. We need to do something about yeah. that and shut us up. You know, that's how you get rid of the First Amendment without exactly. anybody even knowing. Exactly. I, I think that's what's going on I here. Agree. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I came to this hospital because I, I wanted to find something, you know? I agree. It's like I need to tell people that are making these channels that are saying that this is a hoax. I mean, I, I'd like to share this. I mean, I, I'm going to do it with your permission, but I'd like to yeah. share this with some content creators that are spreading this because I would like that to stop because they're agree. telling people and then those people believe it and then it just gets bigger and bigger and next thing we know we're not going to have any more rights exactly you know I, we, i'm we, scared of that what you know? rights do we have now let's be honest exactly I it's mean, just getting honestly, less and okay, less and less i have six i have six children mm -hmm. i love my sisters and i'm gonna never kill my kids not ever mm -hmm. i'm not the one that drop my kids in the back to drive my fucking cliff or anything let's be let's get it real right i brought you in this world i want to take your motherfucking ass out well, I, I have the right to bring you in but i can't take you out right I mean, I'm not saying it's right to kill your kids, but I'm saying right. I don't have the right to do what I want with my own kids that I made. Right, right. Just think about that in itself. Just think, right. I don't know I want to hurt my kids, don't get me wrong, but right, right. think about the rights that you do not have. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I homeschool my, my child. I'm afraid that one of these days they're going to say, no, they, she needs to be in a public school because... You know, you're not fit to be a, a teacher. I like my, my, my daughter. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm my daughter's five years old. She's already reading pretty fluently. It's yeah. like I don't think the schools would do that for her. Yeah. And this that guy doing that for me, the evidence is retarded. Do you have a lighter? Yes, I do. Oh, here yeah, I got one. Oh, thank uh, you. You're welcome. The thank evidence, you. the way they strategically put it. Oh, I have a real oh. lighter. Look, mine just click it. It's a big <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. You. You, you just click it and it works. <laughs> I'm saying that to say. If it was him and only him, okay. <laughs> they put enough evidence in the room and everything they put in. What about the suicide note that they have on fucking him? on the fucking table right but the cops is on it there's no fucking notes and then there was the guy um <clears throat> i heard a interview with michael savage he interviewed this guy that he's living in pennsylvania now but he was the neighbor of the shooter mm -hmm. in mesquite 
he's like, this is not the guy. I, I used to play video poker with him. I used to, you know, we used to have beers. He would, you know, he would sit out on his porch drinking a beer. And when he saw me drive in, he'd wave at me. We'd have discussions. Nice guy. No reason to do this. Had no, and it's, it makes me think, it's like, either this guy's lying or there's something wrong there too. I mean, there's just too many things. Now, don't take you know? me to JFK. Do not take me to JFK because I've been on JFK forever. Right. And, but I hear you, but what I'm saying about this whole situation is just like, you're at a concert. People didn't even believe it was really gunfire. Yeah. There's actually YouTube videos. People are just like, that's not real. Right. People are saying that, what? Yeah, I saw what? that. And what are you doing? <laughs> and you're still alive. People that are down there ducking are dead, but your ass yeah. is like, what? Yeah. Okay. That was weird. All this, but, no, but the thing is, like, they didn't know where it was coming from. They yeah. didn't know where it was coming from. And, and I think that was confusion. Was, I think that they were trying to. Because I, I saw another video. I don't know if it was the same one or if it was a different one. It was everybody was huddled together, and then there was, um, there was, uh, all, you know, you could hear the gun gunshots in the background. But then the people that were there all huddling together, there was a couple of them that were saying these gunshots from the loudspeakers these aren't real gunshots it's like we know that there were gunshots we know that the, all that it's was happening was fireworks at first. yeah and i'm thinking to myself like was that possibly to just confuse confuse the people in the in the crowd you know try and get them confused to talk to talk about that maybe even to to put that get that recorded so they can put it up on the internet and make everybody think it's real. you know the just way, another piece of evidence the to make way people I see think it, it. Though, be honest with you i feel like they were all in a bowl, and mm. there's this crazy motherfucker up here on Mandalay Bay uh. doing his thing, and then possibly somebody on the other side of the street. Mm. Possibly, because there's a lot of evidence that could have been somebody else on the other side of the street. You're not talking about the floor, fourth floor thing? Fourth floor thing. Yeah? Not yeah. of the Mandalay Bay, but across the street, on uh. the other side of the venue. Oh, wow. So, if you're in a bowl, <clears throat> and you have all these security gates up, mm. and you can't run nowhere because it's a paid concert. So we're keeping everybody out that's not supposed to be here that didn't fucking pay. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta knock these goddamn gates down to get out. So yeah. in the meantime, we're stuck. Right. We don't know where the gunshot's coming from. We don't know where the fuck we're running. We don't know where the fuck we're coming from. We're running towards the gunfire. We're running away from the gunfire. We don't know where the fuck we're going. So right. we're, st we're stuck. Yeah. We're stuck right here. And if somebody shoots from across the street and you're shooting from up there, we're in a fucking bowl. Right. We're fucked up. That's right. why five, four, what they dropped from five to four hundred people. Right. Injured. Yeah. To only 58. And that guy you just met, his sister could be 59. And that's what I don't want. I pray for her not to be 59. Because she is, how do you get shot from the top of your head, behind your eyeball, down your neck, and, and survive? She's 50. She could be 59. I'm praying to God she's not 59. Oh, that's just I'm praying, praying to God. And, and that guy you just met, Andrew? Yeah. I met him last night. He told me the whole situation. And, it, and it's sad. But the whole point I'm making by saying that is you got a concert venue. We got to pay to get in. It's not a free venue. If it's a free venue, there's no gates. Yeah. Or it would be gates to lead you where you got to go, mainly. Right. But not keep you in there to make sure everybody pays. Yeah. So. If you're shooting me, even if it's just one shooter, you're stuck in a place. How the fuck? Well, they got the concert go the concert um, performers out there quick to the motherfucker. As soon as you seen the gunshots going off, yeah, his ass ran off the stage immediately. Yeah, he was gone. Yeah, and they even shot the screen, <laughs> so his ass was like, oh fuck this, I'm out. Right. But everybody else is trying to figure out is this real? Right. Nobody else was going on. They don't know if it's real or not. There's one guy on YouTube talking about is this not real. <laughs> This is not real gunfire, and the girl's saying, yes, it's real. Right. And then all of a sudden, they're slipping on blood, slipping over dead bodies, and, and yeah. then all of a sudden, now they get it. Now it's fucking real. Now where do we go? We're right. stuck. We have gates blocking us from getting out of every entrance. Yeah. I mean, the whole shit, is, it, it just... Doesn't make sense. It, it, the make shit sense. Just, it just, it's, re, it's retarded more than anything, hmm. first and foremost. It's just like, how do you not have precautions for this? And most concerts in this city, we have concerts all the time. Life is beautiful. Yeah. All concerts we've had, there's yeah. always a bunch of security in Metro, always there. Yep. And I mean, why I remember when going to. And why did 
the taxi cab driver to the Mandalay Bay carrying the first three rounds of shots. And that was over five minutes. Yeah. Three, three to five minutes. Why she was in the parking lot. Um, you know how the, the taxi cabs are in the line after mm -hmm. all the hotels. Yeah. And she called her dispatch and she in dispatch told her, Don't go to Mandalay Bay. Mm -hmm. There's not one cop there. There's really? not one cop in where she's at in the taxi cab. Look it up, I swear to God. She's in the line with a taxi cab. Yeah, I saw the taxi cab video, her, but I missed it because I, I didn't see it. <laughs> the taxi cab, this well. guy told her, do not go to Mount Lake Bay. You don't want to be nowhere near there. Then she came out. Yeah. And she's telling people while she's leaving, don't go there. They're shooting. There's active shooting. And nobody's listening to her. They're all right. downstairs thinking nothing's going wrong. You hear these popping sounds. They're not doing shit. Wow. Finally, she gets to go out on the street. Hmm. Then she's all metros all out there. But it took them what? Fucking like eight minutes. Yeah, that's. What the fuck? <laughs>